Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm into SC4 Gaming, and I'm bringing you NASCAR Thunder 2003 once again. And uh, what I want to do, I'm gonna do just do a race. Now I'm gonna pick Warburton, and I'm gonna pick his regular 2002 Caterpillar Dodge, and we're going to Daytona, the Daytona 500. How about that? So, let's head to the track right now. That's right. Magic carpet ride. Now, the last time I played this game, I did a gameplay with Dale Jerry with, on, in Michigan. And with three to go, I spun out, which sucked. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Steve Park has had some tough breaks during his still young Winston Cup career. He missed a bunch of races in both 98 and 2001 due to injury. Yes, and unfortunately those injuries cost him a shot at Rookie of the Year and his first top 10 points finish. But he's back now and is good as ever. Jeff Green joined Richard Childress Racing in 2001. It was the first year RCR had run three cars at one time in Winston Cup. And being a part of a very successful multi-car operation is important to Jeff. His first foray into Winston Cup was a little rough, but with Childress, he's got a good chance to run well week in and week out.
Okay, finally we're gonna go race in the day. We're underway here in the Daytona 500 on NASCAR Thunder 2003. It's amazing I started 20th, but I already dropped one spot. Okay, now I'm trying to move up through the field now. Oops, wow, I would hit the wall on straightaway. I was just drafting with uh, Sterling Marlin, see if I can get anything. And yes, I did. Uh, Sterling, I want to get underneath you. There we go. Alright, so lap two, I'm, I'm in 17th. I moved up three spots already. Ow. Jeez. There's Tony Stewart. Three time champ. Being. 2002 champion that. Also. Wow, I'm getting such a good run. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn it. Ugh. I got loose. And how do you get... Now, yes, I see in reality. But still, it's like, how do you get loose at Daytona? Oh well. So away it goes. Alright, this is on boy with Ward Burton. Ward Burton is the 2002 Daytona 500 champion. Uh, Bobby LeBron is underneath me now. Whoa! Jeez, I am just loose coming off turn 4. Do the crossover move. He passes me down low. When I get clear, and just slingshot around them to the bottom. I don't want Sterling Marlin to pass me. Sterling Marlin in the 2002 Daytona 500. Could have won the Daytona 500 after he spun out Jeff Gordon. Kosh came out and there was a big wreck behind him. Threw out the red flag and Sterling Marlin was leading the Daytona 500 under the red flag until he climbed out of his car. And because he had some damage, Sterling Marlin had some damage on his car, on his right front fender. So he got out of his car and started pulling on the fender. Because you, you can't work on your car under the red flag. Because that is the NASCAR rule. If you do that, you're going to be sent to the tail end of the field. And that's what happened to Sterling Marlin. NASCAR first told him, you got to go to the back of the field. And he lost at Daytona 500 that way. So it's the last three laps and Warp Burton was leading and Warp Burton won the Daytona 500 instead of Sterling Marlin. Sterling wasn't smart that day. 
<sighs> anyway, I am in, I am in 11. Now just crack the top 10 by passing Rusty Wallace. And I'm just going to slingshot the high side, Jeff. I have 15 laps left already. I didn't realize that. Now I'm underneath Johnny Benson. I'd like to go underneath you. 14 laps to go. Alright, sixth place. I don't like the hood cam on this game. All you see is oh wow. How did I get down there? Oh boy. I should stay up here now. Until I'm absolutely clear. Okay. Okay, three wide, three wide. There we go. Oh! Wow, my car got loose. Went right up into Michael. Ah, oh, Kenseth got loose in front of me. He's still trying to save that car. Damn it. Ken, if you just... Saw right when I got on Kenseth's bumper, he got loose. And now look at the front. They're way up there now. Heck yeah. It's the bumper cam. Bumper. <sighs> the bumper cam is only exciting when you're right behind someone. Now I need to catch up. Someone blew an engine. Or blew a tire. Someone's slowing down in the back straight away. Jesus. I really need to catch up. Kenseth got loose in front of me. I couldn't do nothing about it. I couldn't slow down in time. Or I went around him in time. Alright, who blew that engine? Ah, oh, I won't be able to see him in time. Can't tell who blew that engine. I didn't gain nothing. I was 3.2 seconds behind the last lap. Oh my god. If I stay here, I swear to god, this will suck. Got 10 laps to go in the Daytona 500, and I'm not losing it this way. All you can hear is my engine. And all the other drivers are way back there. Nowhere near me. Okay, how much did I gain? 2.9 seconds. I gained 3 tenths. See how much more I can gain.
All you can hear is my engine. That's all you can hear. <laughs> it's like qualifying. And you're all out by yourself. All you can hear is one engine going. Well, hopefully I'll get up there by the time this race is over. How much did I gain here now? Ah, uh, I only gained two tenths that lap. But I am gaining, that's the most important thing. question is, will I get up there enough to win? That's the thing. Stupid Kenseth. Got loose in front of me. Couldn't let me have time to go around you. Ah. It's just my luck. Okay, let's see here. Okay, 2.5. Oh, God. I have a feeling I'm not going to catch up. There's no way. There's no way. Okay, the leader is single file. But there's a battle for second place, so if they keep doing that, maybe I'll get up to them. Maybe. That's just maybe. Okay, now there's single file. All three of them. Two of them are down low and one of them is just hanging up on the high lane. Okay, I'm catching them. I'm catching. Okay, let's see now. Okay, I gained four tenths there. That's pretty good. So I'm 2.1 seconds now. Three laps ago, I was 3.2 seconds. Not anymore. Six laps to go in the Daytona 500. Can Warburton catch up to the lead pack before this race is all over? And I'm going to try. I'm going to push it, too. I'm going to push it. Five laps to go this time by. All I know, Harvick and Newman's up there. I don't know who's the leader. Five laps to go. I am down 1.7 seconds. I think if I keep running in this pace, I will catch up to them. By the time this race is all over. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. But see, you could have had a better battle for the, for the lead if Kenseth didn't get loose on me. We would have had a great race up there at the front. But sometimes that's how the way it goes. That's how video games go sometimes. They're trying to be realistic. Sometimes they are. Now I can't sit getting loose holding up the field. Okay, 1.4 seconds. Yeah, I gained three tenths there. If I keep running this pace, I'll catch the draft. Try to go on and win. I think that's Dale Jarrett up there. I'm not sure. No, I don't think he's Dale Jarrett. Is it? I know Harvick and Newman's up there, but I don't know who's the other car. You can t see I'm gaining. And they're like, uh-oh. Da-na. Da-na. That's what I'm thinking right now. And that's what they're thinking. Alright, three laps to go. Oh boy, three to go. I think I just finally caught them. I just gotta get... I think I'll be able to get their draft on the back straight away. Maybe.
Yeah, I'll be able to get the draft now. I think that's Michael Waltrip up there. Alright, I finally caught the draft. Oh no, that's Jimmy Johnson. Okay, Newman, I'm up high. We're coming to two laps to go this time by. Here we go, I'm gonna make a run up here. Two laps to go, Jimmy Johnson leads, Warburg's in second, Harvick third, and Newman fourth. This is gonna get interesting. See, if I, if I think, if I went around Kenseth when he got loose, I could, we could've had a great side-by-side -side battle. Okay, right up Jimmy Johnson's bumper. Okay, I just gotta get some drive off Jimmy, then try to slingshot around him for the lead. I think that's what I have to do if I was in a situation where I was still side by side from Jimmy Johnson. Okay, white flag, final lap of the Daytona 500. Warburton leading, Jimmy Johnson running in second. Jimmy Johnson underneath me. This is gonna get interesting. Come on, come on, Ward. Oh, I'm getting some draft on Harvick. That's a good thing. But he's gonna go low. Oh no. Gonna give him a little bump. Oh, come on. Yes, I got him. I got him. I think that little bump did the job. Warren Burton wins the Daytona 500 on NASCAR Thunder 2002. Or NASCAR Thunder 2003, I'm sorry. Let's do some celebration. Oh, smoke up those tires already. Before I get to start celebrating. Alright, gonna go right here. Oh, come on! Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, this sucks. Although, it's not easy to do burnouts here on this game. Oh, come on. I'm trying to do the wall. Right, I'm going to try one more. It's not easy to do celebrations on this game, I tell you. Yeah, look at that. All right, I, I'm done. Screw it. I'm done. <laughs> These are highlights of the race. Oh. Oh yeah, this one Kenseth got loose in front of me. That's when I lost all that momentum. Right well, night. Oh yeah, this one I was side by side with Jimmy Johnson. And I win the Daytona 500. Alright, let's go to victory lane. Warburton about to climb out of this car after winning the Daytona 500. There he is. Got a couple donuts and a couple scrapes on my car. Spray that champagne. Alright, look at that. Couple scrapes and a couple donuts. So Ward Burton wins the Daytona 500 on in our. NASCAR Thunder 2003 and there we go new paint scheme with Warburton I unlocked the shootout yay yes let's continue please alright so that's it for this gameplay I'll see you guys soon